Oh, you made it to part two. Well, if you haven't watched part one, then you can click right up here and go ahead and watch that episode first. These next five methods of execution are sure to make your skin crawl. Again, this video is not for the faint of heart, but if you think you can make it through, stick around. This first method of execution was seen to have been extreme, even for its time. If you were found to be a traitor in 13th century England, being hanged, drawn, and quartered was the standard punishment you would receive. Though the extreme nature of this punishment was intended so that no one would even think of committing a treasonous act, there were plenty of recipients over the course of 500 years. The process of this method would start with the victim being dragged from behind a horse to the execution site. Then they would go through a slow hanging in which they would be left to choke as the rope tore up the skin of their throat. If you were lucky, you would have already died during this stage, but if fortune didn't smile on you, then the drawing would begin. Oh, and this isn't the calming kind of drawing. It is the kind of when your stomach would be sliced open and your intestines and other major organs would be drawn from your body. And if you were extremely unlucky, then you would still be alive at this point and you would witness the executioners burn your organs in front of you before you were finally decapitated. What a horrible way to die. But wait, there's more. Yes, that's right. They aren't done with you yet. After death has found you, they would cut your body into four pieces, or quartered, and then these parts would be sent to prominent areas of the country as a warning to others. I guess the upside would be that you'd be able to see the whole country. I've always wanted to see the North. You may have seen this next method on Game of Thrones, and it's called rat torture. Something so simple it's ingenious. Simply put, Live rats are placed in a bucket and then placed on an exposed torso of a victim. Then heat is applied to the bucket. The rats then would be crazed from the heat building up in the bucket, so they would tear and gnaw their way into the abdomen of the victim, clawing and ripping through skin, flesh, organs, and intestines in their attempt to escape the bucket. The worst part is that along with the pain, the victim would also suffer horrendous feelings of rats crawling inside their bodies as they slowly died. Absolutely terrifying, but you can't argue that it's not creative. For the first time in this series, we are finally leaving Europe and talking about a torture specifically found in Asia. Bamboo torture was used by the Japanese on American prisoners of war. This method would tie the victim down to a frame over a patch of newly sprouting bamboo plants. Bamboo plants grow extremely fast, often growing up to three feet in 24 hours. The sharp tips of the bamboo would slowly pierce the skin of the victim and then continue to grow through, resulting in the death of the victim. Imagine it like being dropped onto a bed of sharpened stakes but in slow motion. No thank you, I think I'll stick to my tempur mattress. This next torture method will have you crawling out of your own skin. Hopefully not literally. Flaying, or also known as skinning alive, has been around for a very, very long time. Records of flaying go back as far as the Neo-Assyrian Empire, beginning in 911 BC. This form of torture, much like being hanged, drawn, and quartered, was usually carried out on traders in medieval Europe, and was used for ritual human sacrifices made by the Aztecs in Mexico. Victims would excruciatingly have their skin sliced from their body while they were kept alive for as long as possible. Death would normally come as a result of shock or blood loss, but there were unfortunate cases where the victim was kept alive for several days before succumbing to their infected wounds. Are you still here? Really? Wow, color me impressed, but I think this last one will definitely get you. This last method of execution is hands down the worst and the most creative method on this list. Starting around 500 BC, ancient Persians practiced scaphism where they would place a victim inside a hollowed out log or narrow boat and then tie their hands and feet to each end. They would then force the victim to ingest a mixture of milk and honey until they uncontrollably voided their bowels. Extra milk and honey would then be smeared on the body of the victim as they were left 
exposed to the sun, surrounded by their own feces and vomit. But it gets worse, much, much worse. The milk and honey would attract types of stinging and biting insects, like wasps and ants. It would also bring on types of bugs that would crawl inside orifices of the victim and lay eggs, eating them alive from the inside out. Death would eventually come due to the combination of exposure and massive infections caused by both the insects and the fecal matter smeared into the wounds. What's worse is that they would force feed the victim milk and honey to keep them alive and suffering for up to 17 days of complete agony. I don't know about you, but that one definitely bugs me. So what do you think? Is that the most horrendous way to execute a person? If not, which one on our list do you think was worse? Comment below and tell us what you think. If you're still here, we would really appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out with a YouTube algorithm. Thank you for watching this episode of Knowledge Jump. Like and subscribe. And as always, we believe in you.